Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a formal slash prom get ready with me. Um, I'm 23 years old. I don't have any proms or formals left in my life. Wow, sorry for that. So when Sisters the Label wanted to collab on this video, I was like, hell yeah, I will never say no to dressing up and pretending I'm going to a formal. First off, I wanna mention that I have a discount code. I'll pop it up on the screen here. It is MAD50, and that's gonna give you $50 off anything on the whole website forever. So that's really, really cool. So if you guys are keen to see how I got this whole look down, besides my hair, because I didn't show that, because it's literally a low bun, that's all. Keep watching and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to apologize to everybody who feels personally victimized by my catfishing. Okay, first off, my body is already moisturized, so I'm feeling nice and hydrated. I'm going to apply my Bali Body Shimmer Oil to give my skin a bit of depth because I'm a little bit pale right now and I'm wearing orange, so I don't want to look what. Hopefully you don't see my nips. So I'm just going to rub this on the tops of my arms. I don't want to rub it underneath because otherwise it's going to transfer onto the silk of my beautiful Sisters the Label dress. I just want to show you the difference. So it's a little bit deeper and it's also a lot glowier. That is the look that we're going for today. Okay, so now that my body is all bronzed in the areas that are showing, which is basically my full body, I'm going to zoom you up and we're going to do my makeup. I'm also going to put this necklace back on because I'm going to be wearing it. Oh my god, I can't believe I have that pimple on my chest. If you have pimples on your chest and back, like me, it doesn't mean you can't wear beautiful strapless clothes, okay? Everybody else can deal with it. We're going to start off with priming, of course, because we are going to be dancing a lot at our formal slash prom. We want our makeup to Day. I'm going in with my Smashbox primerizer and my Smashbox photo finish stick and the primerizer is perfect because I've got a lot of eczema on my face right now so this is going to give my skin that hydration and help my skin from getting kind of like dull and um, sometimes it goes a bit flaky with foundation on it and then the photo finish stick is just going to go on those areas that I know I get oily. For foundation I'm going to be using my RCMA foundation palette but this foundation if I know that I'm going to be dancing and Moving a lot, this is the best. This is what Beyonce's makeup artist uses on her. Now I'm just going to spread this on my face with my Zoeva 112 Face Curve Brush. You can use a beauty blender as well, but if you are going to use a beauty blender with this foundation, you have to use it dry, just because this is a wax foundation. If you use a wet beauty blender, you know, oil and water do not mix. So I look like an oil slick right now, but that's okay. We're going to set it down. But first, I'm going to apply some more cream product. I'm going to highlight the central areas of my skin with my First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. And I'm going to use a beauty blender just to push this into my skin. Next, we have the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Mocha. And I'm just going to place that all in the areas that I want to appear more contoured like my nose and my non-existent cheekbones and jawline. And then I'm just going to blend that out. For bronzer, I'm just gonna use my Shantakai Whoa Radiance Gel Bronzer. And I actually like placing this on my beauty sponge and then applying it to my cheek. So I'm just gonna kind of layer that over the top of where I contoured. Okay, that is all for the cream products right now. So I'm just going to use my Lancome Translucent Setting Powder. Tap some of that into the lid. Taking a beauty blender, I'm just gonna set my under eyes with that. And also push that into my nasolabial folds because they're the area that oil definitely tries to escape from. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Becca Be A Light palette. And I'm going to be using this shade here. If you've ever used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, this is a little bit like that sets down your foundation and makes it a little bit more matte, but it's also got such a nice glow about it. Um, if you like a matte face, then absolutely go for it. Because my body is glowy, because I've got that shimmer oil on, I'm gonna keep mine pretty shimmery. I'm gonna mix two blushes today, Gone Wild. I'm going to mix my Runway Room Peach Punch with this nice shimmery pink one from the Becca Be Light palette. Oh my god, that is so nice. It's going to look really good with the orange dress that I'm wearing. Now I'm going to highlight my cheekbones and the high points of my face with my Natasha Denona Super Glow. Oh 
look at that. My face is already so glowy that it's not really making much difference on camera, but in real life it definitely is. Not going to put any on my forehead because I've got textured skin on my forehead. I don't want to enhance the texture. I want to ignore it and pretend it's not there. You get no love, hun. Oh my god, look at that. Guys, the sun is coming out just in time for my formal pics. It's been cloudy and raining all day. Disgusting. All right, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Applying it with my ASAP Concealer Brush. And then I'm just going to buff that out with my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. And I'm not going to set that because I want my eyeshadows to be nice and pigmented. Not that they're not already, but I don't know. The Paint Pot often doesn't need setting for me. For my brows, I have two different products. Mellow Cosmetics Brow Definer. This is in the shade Mocha. And my Benefit 24... 24 hour brow setting gel. It's just clear. Brows are really boring and they also take a while. So I'll be back with my brows on. Okay, I'm back with my bushy brows. I'm really loving a bold, dark, bushy brow at the moment. Although I'm really not vibing the way that pimp shadow makes me look like I have a money brow. Okay, I'm going to be using a new palette. I haven't used this one before. Mecca just was so kind and sent me some of these Smashbox cover shot palettes. This one is called Petal Metal Eye Palette. Are you ready? Oh my God. So obviously the tones are super perfect for a nice like warm bronzy look. I'm going to start out using this really like neutral shade and just work that through my crease. Just blending it up a little bit and I'm just going to flick that out towards the outer corner because I am thinking I'm going to do a winged liner today. I'm actually kind of trying to recreate the look that I wore to my 21st because I wore this Sisters the Label dress to my 21st and I wore really like nice warm makeup to that as well. And that was like before I was properly into makeup. So I'm trying to re um, recreate that look just with different products because I honestly don't even know what the hell I would have used because that was before I even had an, a makeup collection. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. I actually really need to buy some new eyeshadow brushes. I don't really have any for like under the eye. Like I don't have any to apply the shadow under my eye without freaking wearing it. On the other end of the palette, there's this nice deep brown shade. I lost my brush that I would normally do this with. So hopefully this works. So I'm just going to darken up the outer corner of my eye with that. Mainly focusing that on the outer corner and then kind of brushing it halfway through my crease just to make sure it's all blended. And then take it out. Also just going to run that along the outer third of my lower lash line. Make sure it joins up. And then I'm going to use that shade all over my lid. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. Oh my god, whoa. I think that's duochrome. Oh yeah, it is. This didn't blend very well because I've got eczema. This side blended a lot better. And then using the Natasha Denona highlighter, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm about to level this out by applying some eyeliner. I'm freaking nervous. I'm very nervous. I suck at eyeliner. I suck at eyelining and I suck at lip lining. Like they're my two bad things. So sorry about all my moving. It's just, I'm just going to speed this process up for you guys so that it doesn't look so hard to watch. I'm about to put lashes on and hide all of my problems. First, I'm quickly just going to apply some mascara. This is just the Hourglass Caution Mascara. Okay guys, I've got my lashes here. Here? You can't really see them. They are Eyelore London and they are in the style number 141, Exaggerate. Okay, these are super fluffy on the outer corner, which I quite like. Everything is done now except for lips. So I'm about to do that right now. So here I have the Dose of Colors Nude Chica, which is from I Love Sarahi's collab with Dose. It is the perfect nude. Okay, I accidentally overlined, but we're owning it. I used to overline all the time, so now it's just such like 
a habit for me. Now I'm going to quickly tie my hair up into a low bun. Not quickly, I'll take my time because I'm not good at hair. So that's why I'm not gonna film it because I really, I'm not good at hair and I know that you guys all know how to tie up a low bun. I'm also gonna get dressed off cam, sorry. I know you wanna see me nudie, but this video would probably get flagged. So I will show you the finished look in a sec. I just remembered, I wanna put my perfume on. Here I have the most random thing. I got it from Mecca. The brand is Scent Republic. It's like a tech. I just draw it on all of my pulse points. Everybody asks me what it is when I put it on. To be honest, it doesn't last that long. It's like in a pen form, you can kind of just take it anywhere and reapply it whenever you want. So I love it. I wear it all the time. Okay, be right back, guys. All right, guys, I have done my hair, makeup, and I am dressed. Let me um, get one of my sisters for my prom date to film this for me so you guys can see the final look. I just got changed out of my dress and forgot that I didn't do an outro. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do recreate this look, please tag me in any pics because I would love to see them. I will see you later on this week. I really will. I've already got it edited and everything. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. Mwah.